What up? It's your girl Mad, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. On today's episode, I am going to be dyeing clothes black. We're gonna try to dye clothes black. I've actually never done this, but I've watched a few YouTube videos, and if I can do it, so can you. And if they can do it, so can I. So this is what we're doing. I actually have a few things that I picked up at the Goodwill outlet. We might have damaged some of these items just trying to clean them in the get-go. Some of them I bought flawed and I was going to sell flawed, but then I realized maybe I can tie them. So we're going to try to dye some things. I've got this ripped black dye and it's an all-purpose dye. It's actually for cotton wool, nylon, and more. Imas. And um, I'm pretty excited. I think this is going to be fun. I have three pieces that we're going to dye black. Let me show you the three things that I'm going to dye today. And some of you guys might be gasping because these are not like just cheap ass name brands, but they were ruined already. So this is actually Tiger of Sweden. And this is a white blazer jacket. Now, whoever had a really rough coffee day, I don't know how this is going to turn out. I'm actually hoping this does color because I can flip this, maybe get $50 or plus on this. So this would be kind of fun just to see how this turns out. This is the Lululemon tank, which got a little dirty in a mud run or someone, but let's see how this turns out. And then this is a St. John's dress, which was already um, stained. We tried to oxy clean it and the black actually bled and dyed it red, which is really weird. So we're going to give this a shot. Now these are all dry clean only things except for the Lululemon tank. And I did read that some things are not as good if they're dry clean, but hey, whatever. Let's get started with this project. What you're going to need for this project is probably just a bottle or two or three, depending on how many items you are going to do. Let's say half a bottle per garment. So I've got three pieces, but I'm going to do one bottle. You're going to need a bucket, some sort of big tub. You're going to need some hot water, maybe gloves. I don't know. I'm not going to, I don't know. Do I use gloves? Should I use gloves? And some patience. The longer you let it soak, the better it should turn out. All right. So you're going to need three gallons for that one thing. This is like a 10 gallon bucket. So I'm going to go a third of the way. I actually boiled some hot water because I just wanted to see how hot I could get it. My water in my sink is pretty hot too, so let's do it. I think that seems hot. Hot. Okay, so three gallons of water, one, this is a super duper hot water, well, hottish, and one bottle of black. I need some dish detergent. Let me go get some dish detergent. Teaspoon of dish detergent soap. And I've got my gloves. Why are these so hard to get on? Do it first things first. Tiger of Sweden. St. John's. Well, I'm going to do this first. Hot. Probably should have like a ruler or something. Spatula. Lululemon. Okay, that's really hot, actually. Yes, this is the same thing I baked my bread with. Alrighty. We'll be back in 30 minutes. And I just got home from my friends and I emptied out my bucket. I'm gonna wash this overnight in cold water on delicates. So far so good. I did only a rinse treatment outside in the bucket, but they have been soaking since three o'clock. So I had them soaking for eight hours. The rip bottle said only 60 minutes, but I did see other people say the longer the better. I'm gonna do this on cold. And with minimal detergent, I think I'm going to put a little bit of vinegar in. I don't know. Should, I'm going to put a cup of vinegar in here too. Why not? Let's get to it. <laughs> See you in the morning. Here are the results. After six hours of dyeing this in buckets outside and mixing it around every 30 minutes. And then as soon as I came home last night around 11 o'clock, I ended up throwing these in the washer cold with a little bit of vinegar. I'm going to show you what they turned out and I'm pretty excited. And you let me know if you think I should do a second pass or... If you think I should just try to keep them the way they are, I think I'm going to list them as is. This is a St. John's dress, and originally this was 
like a little red in the stripes and this kind of went gray. Now I don't know the fabric content because I can't find the fabric tag in here. It doesn't have one, but what do you think? This went from a bleached red stripe to gray and black. This is a pretty high-end brand and um, I think it looks pretty good. I'm gonna list it just like this and um, we'll go from there. This is the Lululemon tank top, which was pretty dirty. It looked like it had been through the mud run. And this one actually looks more like a tie-dye marble top. Kendra's gonna keep this. This was just a tester. And this is actually a nylon. Now that fabric, the rip dye was for nylon. So I'm actually surprised that it didn't dye more evenly. And the Tiger of Sweden jacket, I'm kind of excited for because I think this looks great. But it turned out marbled, like very marbled. It didn't pick up all the way. I don't know, maybe I should do another dye, but I think I'm gonna sell this as a one-of-a-kind upcycled Tiger of Sweden jacket. It feels really nice, and this is a dry clean only jacket. It actually is still drying, it's from this morning. But I think this is so dope. And now all of these were either stained or flawed, and that's the reason why I ended up doing these. But if you have clothes that maybe you just don't like the color or other things like that, you could totally dye them in whatever color. Now, I would recommend there are things that I didn't do, like. Make sure you, apparently they say you should wet your clothes before. I did not do that. And I just threw them in the bucket. The container, the writ dye said only one hour. I did six hours. So you do you, figure out what you want. I hope this was helpful, informative, or any of the above. Don't forget to subscribe. I post videos like this on the regular and you don't want to miss out. I mostly post reseller hauls. So if you're interested in that, thrift hauls and ways that you can make money online selling your clothes on eBay, give that little, uh, subscribe, hit the bell, and do all the things. It's your girl, Mad. I'm so happy you're here, and peace out.